happy birthday as well. You always find a way to pour your in solution. Get out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. Today I'll be reviewing the C Crane CC Pocket AM FM Stereo Weather Band Radio. You can purchase this radio for $64.99 from Amazon or directly from their website. Mine arrived like this. Here's the box. CC Pocket. Maximum reception and selectivity. C Crane. On the back, goes through some blurbs here. Five easy preset buttons. That caught my eye. That's something I really like. Up to 50 station presets. Bonus. Clock, alarm, sleep timer. Built-in DX tools. A rubber casing. So there's a little rubber strip that goes around the outside edge. Two AA batteries not included. CC buds included. The headphones are really good. Uh, I got to use them and enjoy them. I never tried them. With my, I came with my Skywave. And I like my Skywave a lot. But I never used headphones with it. But when I got this radio, I decided to try the buds with the, this radio, and wow, do they sound good. you got to give them a shot. This is amazing. Uh, there you go, maximum reception selectivity. And so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. Now, I took everything out of the box, so I think this is going to be empty. So we have the radio. Okay, let's put this aside. So with the radio, you get a couple pieces of information here. First, we get a warranty card, which is one year, I believe. One year limited warranty. They're the states. They're great. Good service department. I had a problem with my Skywave and took care of it right away. So, yeah, love them. Okay, here we got a manual. This is probably one of the best well written manuals you'll ever read on a radio. Just super concise, right to the point. I mean, I love this first paragraph. I got to read it right here. Here it is. The CC Pocket Radio uses the latest in digital t chip technology along with our own techniques developed at C-Cream, able to bring in weak sta FM station better than perhaps any other pocket radio. That's a big statement. The button layout is easy to understand for basic use. It is different than other radios because some of the features can be changed by reading the manual and using multiple button presses to change them. We'll do that. On AM, overload from strong local station has been a problem since the dawn of radio. The CC Pocket may be able to shut out the offending station, perhaps like no other radio you've ever owned. So let's, we're going to give those things a try. So yeah, great manual. Awesome. We'll go over those features. You get a handy dandy belt clip, which is removable. And look, I took mine off. Two screws, and it came off. But no, it's a good, it's a good thing to have. Um, here are the earbuds. They work really good. They're better than the other ones I have. I'm switching to these, definitely. You get a wire for the antenna and speaker mode. So it's just a strand of wire with a plug den on it. Uh, you know, just so you have FM reception without your headphones. And then we have the radio. Yeah, it comes in this nice protective casing. Take it out. I pre-installed two batteries already, as you can tell. And we'll go over dimensions. So this radio measures in at two and a half inches wide, four and a quarter inches high, and a depth just under one inch. And to put in comparison, I brought its competitor out, the Sanjin, and you can see the first size. They're pretty identical. Okay. And of course, we can put deck of cards there too, give you an idea. All right. So let's go look at the radio. On the front of the radio, you'll see right away we have a LCD display with a battery indicator. We have up and down tuning. We have five buttons. These are your easy go preset buttons. And they also do hidden functions also. So when the power's off, you can set the clock. You can set the alarm. You can set the beep on and off with number three. Number four lets you set the clock or frequency to show while the radio is on. And then five lets you do nine or 10 step selectivity. And when you select nine step, it expands your FM to 76 to 108. So that's a nice feature. Uh, over here, we have the switch for speaker, and then when you're using headphones, mono and stereo in the FM. There you go. So speaker is one and one quarter inches, and it has a good tonal quality for a small speaker. Love it. On the right side of the radio, we have a band select button. We have an alert button, 
and we have a function lock button. As you can see, it locks out. Button presses. Top of the radio, we have the headphone jack port. Headphones on here are amazing. Low noise floor, great sounding stereo on the FM, and great listening on the AM broadcast. They did a good job. Volume slider, similar to those sand jeans I've done. And then the power sleep function button there. Okay, on the back, we have where the bell clip went. Here it says push to open. It's a little tricky, but we're gonna open this up because it has little instructions in the back. So there's your two AA batteries. And in the back here, it has a quick little thing in case you forgot. You know, number one is the clock, like I told you, two is alarm, beep on and off. So yeah, really nice to have that handy. In case you forget or lose the manual, you'll always have that in there. So, okay, let's go ahead and turn it on. So I'm gonna press and hold, let me show you the sleep function. From midnight to night to noon Sunday. And you keep holding Additional it. Additional details. It'll cycle. For reduced visibilities at times. A winter weather advisory for snow means periods. So we'll set for 120 minutes. <laughs> we won't be on there that long, hopefully. Right now I have channel five on the NOAA. And use caution while driving. And one thing I noticed the following is, a winter weather is you can tune it, you know, for seven channels. And let's um, hook up a wire so we can get some reception. I happen to have a wire handy here. Let me just grab it real quick. Here we go. Nice three foot wire. So now I got reception. Um, the function here is you can actually preset these. So I preset them. So you don't have to go up or down, just go right to them. Pretty nice. And then you have alert mode. You press and hold. And it'll cycle. And you just figure out what you, what you want. So I'll do a four hour alert mode. So now AM or FM won't work. Just your weather band. You can turn it off, but it'll still show alert and it'll still flash a light telling you it's on. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so you got, that's how the alert works. And you can turn it off by pressing and holding it. It turns it off. Okay, we'll turn the radio back on. Localized ice jam flooding will be All right, so let's uh, explore the AM. The AM is like amazing on here. So we hit the band. The there we go. All right, so for tuning, tuning your radio, you have a bunch of ways. So here you can go down in 10K steps. You can press and let it seek. Might be WCBS, yay. Or you can press and hold and you can let go whenever you want to stop it. And we'll do it at the bottom of the band. Okay, so while we're here at the AM, let's talk about it. As you can see, I'm on page two. So you have memory functions. If you like this station here, say I was 520, I wanna save it, you just press and hold. You see the four flashing? There, 520 is now set on page two, number four. So to access the page button, you press and hold the band and it starts flashing page. I'm gonna go to page one. And now the presets here, I can go to them handily. As well as I have for the last couple of years. Matt, good evening. How about the last teammates? All right. Works really nice. Okay. So that's setting the presets, and you have multiple pages. Um, so holding this down, you have page one, you can go page two, hold it down again, you have page three. So you have five pages of five presets, so 25 total. So we'll go back to one. So there we go. So that's the presets in a pinch. Now when you're on AM, let me show you some fun stuff. Let's go. Detroit Station. Here's the DX tools they were talking about. Okay. So when you hold uh, one and five, it turns the screen off. 
how it's supposed to help if you have a if you're trying to DX and there's some noise coming from the display. But I'll be honest with you, I didn't notice any noise from the display. Turn it back on by just pressing those two. Uh, one and four quickly pressed gives you one K stepping. So now you can sometimes get a clearer sound by tuning just off frequency, which is really nice. And then do this again to go back to 10. Oh, this is Atlanta. <laughs> this radio is awesome already. Okay, and then we're going to touch on one more feature, the uh, narrow and wide filter. So to get that, you hold one and three. So we have a wide filter. Narrow, 2.5, 4. I like 2.5 on voice. I'm going to just down and zoom in. Let's go do a band scan at AM and see what we can find using these tools. So we are going to go, we know about tuning, so we're going to go ahead and go down to the bottom. Alright, we're going to run through them. And you can see it's got a very light backlight there. Here, let me see if I can just give you an idea. Did you say that was Ontario? Look at this. WLW Cincinnati? It's a local WGN. And you can try the tools to see if you could pick up anything. So what we'll do is we'll go to our um, 1K steps. And we're pretty much just hearing 720 carrying over. Go back to 10. We'll zoom a radio. Sometimes a wide filter can help brighten it up. Detroit. Local. It's 
think tanks, think tank. Civilian intelligence collection enterprise. Civilian. And uh, I can't say a lot about it, but the technical... 18 months, two years, two and a half years. And you just do that. So the other office, office, I believe? You could say, I'm going to keep some money in cash, like I'll keep 50 grand in, you know, a, a money market account, and I'll keep, say, now the rest of 100, maybe I would put 50 grand in a bond fund. So it sometimes can quiet the sound. So definitely uh, helpful uh, for DX hunting. Yes. WHAS. You see, over the next few months, an estimated $34.6 billion is up for grabs to anyone who stakes their claim. If you heard that right, $34.6 billion. Get all the details, just go to www.bigfreedomchecks.com. <laughs> Toronto. WCBS, New York City. Sounding really good. It's a great little radio. I love playing with these tools. These are great. WLS Chicago. Nine hundred AM doing some classic radio. Local? You know, they're the Dodgers. Mr. Fox, or, um, some artists are very particular are not being spoken to. When do you plan to leave? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thanks for your service. I surely you intend to drive the winner of your son. Elusive WBZ, 1040. I have not been out to use the gift card yet. Well, good. Shot the wall again. KYW's Mike Dorn. The inmate was released from current Bravo Correctional Facility at 11 o'clock last night. And he was shot by an off-duty corrections officer in the parking lot. Features are great. If you're, 
back, so he stole the eagle's... <clears throat> if you're like me, who loves AMDX hunting, this radio is really good for this, for portable. Having that narrow and wide filter is just uh, invaluable to a person who has a radio like this. I'm really enjoying that. And then, of course, the one-step tune, you can really quiet it down. Just a little tune in. You could spend a long time hunting all these stations.
London Calling with your host, Dan Martin, is a third half production in cooperation with DBM Voiceworks and Coolarity A2. Executive producer, Joe Davis. Tune in again next week for another exciting edition of London Calling, right here on WAM. These long band scans are what these radios are about. You guys kind of want to know what they do, so we'll go ahead and go to FM. Oh, I want to show you this feature. You can um, press and hold the band, and it changes. And there's a uh, clock function, so you can see what time it is when you hit the alert button. Quick, I find that's really nice when you're tuning. You're trying to find out what time you know your signal came through. Presets. We're on page two. So hold down band. Change it to one. No shovel and look forward. Spectacular Eagles ball. Be quote call one eight hundred five just to show you. Confirm their identities. Al so that's fun. We can do that, and then you can do this. Uh, hold down and get to the bottom of the band. We'll do a quick FM reception. Just for fun. Three next. One. Okay, so press and hold. Let's seek out. There's your signal strength meter. There's a little stereo light that'll light up if you have headphones on. there awesome all right the CC pocket boy who would this be a market for I'll tell you what this radio is for the guy or gal who wants a pocket powerhouse tab on hand ready to go wherever they're traveling I mean this thing is meant to go out there um, you know be hiking traveling wherever you know just a companion with you um, I'll be honest with you having a radio to break away from the internet and your phone it's just amazing it's just amazing what you find on the AM band alone there's programs I never knew existed 
uh, because the information on the internet can just overwhelm you sometimes. And I just turn on my radio and kick back, and I'm like, whoa, what's this show? I never heard of this. So yeah, just amazing piece of equipment. It's, it's great to still own a radio. And to have this so small and have the reception and the quality uh, available to you, I mean, it, it's just pretty much a luxury nowadays. And I'm really happy to own this radio. I know it's $65 as a premium. Uh, but, you know, th this one here, you know, is, is 50 bucks, but it's yellow. I mean, I don't know many people that like yellow. I'm partial to it, of course. <laughs> But a lot of people don't want a bright yellow radio walking around with it. So this, this exudes class. Um, fit and finish is beautiful. Um, just a person that just wants something well made, uh, does what it's supposed to, quick access to presets. I mean, that's this is number one. I mean, right here, boom, boom, boom. You saw how quick it was to get to those tools for the stepping in the AM and the filter in the AM. It was just very easy, intuitive. Um, you know, the clock function, you're able to hit the alarm and get the clock showing in there while you're uh, you know listening to your radio it just just awesome all around great so yes this gets a recommended buy for me all day long if you're looking for the ultimate small pocket radio that does most everything it, it just does it so well um, I can't stress that more so if you like the video thumbs up you guys want to see this face off against this guy or do you want to see it face off Somebody mentioned they wanted to see this guy face off against this one. We can do that in the future. Um, the Texan that you saw um, operate real well. We can also do one like that. It's just there's multiple radios, and I'll be honest with you, uh, I'm happy with this and just how it is. And but we will we'll do some face offs. I mean we can definitely bring out the Sony, you know EX5, you know MK2, and do a face off on that too, just to see how this you know, it does against a $150 radio. So, well, thanks for watching, taking the time. Make sure to subscribe, hit the little alert button, get some new videos every night, and uh, make sure you comment below on what you think about the CC Pocket. Uh, I really like this radio. I love that it comes from a company here in the States uh, who helped design and build a quality radio. And yeah, you can't overstate that enough. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.